We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. And in this clip, I'm going to cover an item from Exterminators of the Year 3000. And this is a 1983 film. Alright, so this movie, it appears to show the future in the past from 1983's uh, perspective. Appears to show the unrealized works of the major Hollywood movie director Steven Spielberg and I already did some videos on this you can see them on my YouTube channel Easter Egg Psychic so what I do is I go into media from the past and I look uh, through these uh, and analyze them for future uh, references and there are many such anecdotes, idioms uh, word plays and you have to cast your logical thinking process out the window so if you're looking at movies in the past note the likenesses of the actors do they resemble actors from the modern day or from um, recent history or from the distant past and yes there are many such likenesses that defy reason Alright, this character is Trash. She's the female lead of this movie. Played by actress Alicia Morrow. Yeah, and I believe she resembles possibly actress Reese Witherspoon and Melanie Griffith. Yeah, I thought she could have been from um, maybe Logan's Run. And she possibly resembles uh, actress... Farrah Fawcett. See, if she looks like Reese Witherspoon, there's an interesting project uh, that involved Steven Spielberg. And this is Just Like Heaven. And this is a 2005 romantic comedy uh, fantasy. Also stars Mark Ruffalo, uh, The Incredible Hulk, and John Hedder, who was in uh, Napoleon Dynamite based on the 1999 French novel, If Only It Were True, by Mark Levy. So yeah, it says here on the Wikipedia page, Spielberg obtained the rights to produce the film from the book. There are some noteworthy items. Uh, actor John Hedder, he resembles uh, Michael Crichton Younger. Uh, do some uh, image searches for... Michael Crichton from the 1970s, and I think you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. Michael Crichton, of course, wrote Jurassic Park and uh, Twister. Uh, and he also wrote the novel Pirate Latitudes. This is also a, a project that has been developing, and this may wind up uh, being finished, uh, directed by Steven Spielberg in the future. Melanie Griffith to me she resembles uh, very strongly actor Kyle MacLachlan. He was um, Paul Atreides in Dune in 1984. Alright so via Kyle MacLachlan he was in the movie adaptation of The House with a Clock in Its Walls. But the book writes, uh, it's based on a 1973 novel by John Belair's a uh, series of 12 books. This was acquired by Amlin Entertainment, uh, made by Universal. So yeah, here's another example of this. In, uh, it was directed by Eli Roth. But uh, yeah, if you do some research on this, you will see that uh, Steven Spielberg had a very strong influence on this film. And that's what I believe as well. And this may have been something uh, he was interested in uh, developing in another way. Uh, don't know. But so you like my videos, you can contact me. My email address is Easter Egg Guy at Yahoo.com. YouTube channel Easter Egg Psychic. And thanks for watching.